Hello guys, welcome to another bowl of Linux soup. Today, I'm going to tell you about sc uh, screen fetch, which is similar to Archie. If you've seen that in some Arch Linux users' setups, they'll open up their command prompt and you'll see uh, a nice little Arch Linux logo and then some information on the right hand side and it, it looks really nice and some of you may want that for your terminal but you might not be running Arch. Now you can of course get Archie for other distributions but screen fetch has more distribution logos and the tutorial I have used will get you a .deb for screen fetch um, but if you go over to their website you can get uh, a zip file uh, on their Google Pro or no GitHub, you can get their uh, a zip file with the script in it, and I think that's pretty much what it is a script, and then you can put the command slash usr slash bin to run it. So I'll just show you. Now the information's a little bit different than Archie, but you'll still get some of the same OS info. Um, some of you may like screen fetch over Archie. I've had some people tell me that. Uh, but see, we have themes. I, I forget what Archie uh, has that um, screen fetch doesn't. But what screen fetch has that Archie doesn't is uh, I think DWM, but it also has the uh, themes running. But uh, same old OS info, what OS, your kernel, uptime, that the CP and RAM, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in this, uh, you can follow this link. Um, I got it by just searching for screen fetch and then this link you should find at linuxandlife.com and here you can see other distributions. The top part will tell you how to get uh, Archie but the focus of this screencast is screen fetch. Um, here we have different distribution logos. You can see that, so I'll just show you a screen fetch dash D to change my distro and just say Slackware. And we have the Slackware logo. So um, to install this, just uh, copy and paste these commands you have. Uh, we're w getting the dot deb, so if I copy this, I go to my terminal and I paste this in. I'm going to download the dot deb, then sudo dpkg dash i, the name of the dot deb, and that installs it. And then I can type in screen fetch, and it should auto detect your distro. But you want to come run this command when you start up your command prompt, so take your favorite text editor and edit your tilde slash dot bash rc. I have some custom stuff in here, um, but uh, let me just move this all to the top here. We have an if then statement, if dash f slash usr slash bin slash screen fetch, then sc uh, screen fetch fi. So let me explain what this is. This is an if then statement, so screen fetch is gonna be run conditionally. If the file user bin screen fetch exists, then execute the command screen fetch end of if then statement. So basically, if you don't have it installed, then it's not going to run. I myself keep my dot bash rc and I'll have it backed up. So let's say I do a fresh install and I and I insert my bash rc. It's not going to fire screen fetch unless the command exists. But that were, you know, that's going to require the package being installed. So that'll get to run on startup. Um, if you run man screen fetch, there's no manual entry, but you can run screen fetch dash, dash h. Uh, if you want to scroll like a normal man page, you could pipe it until less, uh, or not because that looks messed up. Um, but you could. Uh, I'll just look at it here. Uh, if you'll notice, and as I showed earlier, dash D specifies your distro, and you can read about different uh, commands, screenshots, but uh, the distro you can change. So screen fetch dash D, Mandriva. Uh, and you'll notice um, 
it says RPM command not found packages are zero it actually uses your package manager to find out how many packages you have well this is a Debian based distro so I use a I use dot debs and I use a Debian package manager I don't have RPM so that command is going to raise an error it doesn't have anything so it's detecting zero packages but that's not my distro so that's why it's happening I could uh, look at gen2 we got a nice little gen2 I already showed slack where uh, there's open sues it's got a cool lizard let me uh, if it's small then you'll get the uh, writing in the uh, picture so let me clear this off the screen screen fetch dash d open Sousa. and look we got the lizard logo pretty neat isn't it uh, I don't know if I showed red hat yet but we got red hat oops no oh. dash d red hat we got we got uh, the red hat logo we got fedora got lots of different distros so if you if this appeals to you um, you want to customize your command prompt and make it look really cool give some info uh, this will be a nice little utility for you so I hope this screencast helps um, let me know if you have uh, any questions just leave them in the comment below I'll answer them as best I can and stay tuned for another pincast